Hi everybody! Welcome to Training Thursday. Have we got some light here? Yeah, we've got some light. If you're just joining us, um, please let me know. I'm super excited to be coming to you from the gorgeous Wanaka, uh, New Zealand. Hi to all the New Zealand peeps out there. Um, it's a lovely day here. It's kind of cold. But um, it's really nice. We've just been to Puzzle World, which has been super cool. Uh, it's our yearly family holiday. And um, I just thought I would check in with you guys uh, because these past couple of weeks has been all about the new for me. Um, first, I was in Newcastle. Then I was in New York. I came to you from New York last week. And now I'm coming to you from New Zealand. And today, what I thought I would uh, check in with you. Oh, hey, Carolyn, your kids love Puzzle World, yeah. Ours did too. I actually felt a bit queasy because there's this amazing room that tripped off my vestibular system um, that's at a 15 degree angle. And um, yeah, I felt a bit woozy after all of that. <laughs> but um, it was super cool anyway and, and such fun. Um, you know, I'm a bit of a science geek, so I love all of that stuff. So what I wanted to talk to you about uh, today was what does your ideal business model look like? And um, the reason I'm talking about it is because uh, I've been thinking about it since last week, especially after uh, I spent the week with a whole bunch of extraordinary women doing amazing things in the world. And, um, you know, people who are creating entirely new uh, cities, new ways of us, of us experiencing an entire city. Um, uh, people who are creating um, platforms for people to learn how to do TED Talks and how to dive and dig deep on what's actually your true why. Um, people who are setting up global listening organizations and, um, and how we're implementing and changing the world. So, um, and also, of course, uh, my mentor, Jonathan Fields, who's written an amazing book called The Good Life Project. Um, and he, the, if we weren't going to start business with the idea of how am I going to make more money, um, if we started business with the idea of how can I live a good life, that question, asking a different question, gives you a different answer, right? And so uh, when I first started on the Natrepreneur mission, uh, instead of asking, how can I make money? <laughs> I was asking uh, two questions. One was, how can I best serve? So, um, you know, one of my big words is service. And if you take some time to dive into your why or your words, you'll start to notice where it comes up in, in different areas of your life. And so one of my big things was, how can I serve more people? How can I serve on a bigger scale? And my other one was, how can I live the life that I would love to live? Hey, Kylie. Hey, Amy. And so if we were asking, how can I live a good life? Um, what does that look like? So when I talk to um, new Nats, Nats, Herbies and Prackies, who are just out, fresh, fresh, fresh from our... Um, you know, from our qualifications, it's very rare that they're asking the question, how can I live a good life? They're often asking the question, how can I get more clients or how can I get more money? And how can I get more clients and how can I get more money gives you a really different perspective on what you're building in your business. And when you're coming at it from that perspective, it becomes a real mission for the next person or the next thing or the next sale. And, it, and that can be exhausting. But if you are creating a life and a business model around how you want to live a good life, then you're coming at it from a different angle. So the things that you achieve are towards your life that you want to live. Now, I'm saying it because I got some um, interesting little feedback from, uh, you know, sharing my, my journey these past couple of weeks on Instagram. And someone saying, oh, I really, um, I wish I had your life, was the quote. And I thought, how interesting, what an interesting thing to say, because we've all been given this extraordinary life, right? And if we take the time, take a little moment to really hone in on what you genuinely want from your life, like what would be a beautiful life for you? Um, 
you start to come up with a different answer. And so uh, I did this a couple of years ago uh, with my hubby in particular. We went to an amazing conference that we're going to again next month. And uh, we really honed in on what does a good life look like for us. And at the time, you know, one of my, you know, one of my words is service, but one of my highest values is travel. And so when I connect with all of those things, I was like, okay, well, a good life would look like having one uh, trip, particularly overseas. And sometimes these overseas trips for our family have been like Tasmania. So, you know, don't get too crazy about it. But um, an overseas trip a year for my family, that would be amazing. And then a couple's trip every year, you know, um, so that I can connect with my hubby. Ooh, how cool is that? Um, and uh, a work trip where I can connect with my tribe. So running retreats. And I actually, I chose four retreats a year that I wanted to run. And then what would it look like for me to go to an event that, that created growth in my life every year? So that was like one, two, three, seven trips a year. And that would be my ideal life. I would love to do that. And I would love to see what my... Um, you know, be able to have a space, where, have a business that could support me while I did that, which is a really different perspective to I want to come out and help a thousand people in a clinic and not be able to leave that clinic because the whole thing will collapse if I'm not there. All right. So instead of coming at it from the the stock standard old school way of thinking of I have to run a clinic, I have to be a clinician and I have to see X amount of people for my life to be a good one as a practitioner. Um, I guess the question I'm asking today is what does a business model look like to support your good life? And so my good life is travel. And so to support that, my business and my business model I've created is around helping people online. It's around uh, being able to travel like we have here. I'll show you about, hold on. Ooh. Can you see the, oh, you can't quite see the snow, but um, there's snow just on them. There are hills. Um, <laughs> we're in uh, Wanaka um, for, who asked that? Jackie. We're in Wanaka, uh, New Zealand at the moment after being in New York last week. And um, yeah, like I was saying, what is your ideal, what does your ideal business model look like to support your ideal life? So questions to ask yourself, what does your ideal life look like? What is your ideal day, ideal month, and then ideal year look like? And then how can you create a business in alignment with that rather than creating a business to go and then live this life for four weeks of the year or two weeks? You know, the first two years I was in practice, uh, we didn't go anywhere. I, would, I thought I would open my doors and work all Christmas and New Year's and, you know, even though people don't actually come and see us then, oh, I have to make money, I have to see people, you know, it doesn't have to be like that. And um, I'm inviting you guys this, this week, um, or if you are seeing this video for the first time, that you don't have to work practitioner clinician style hours in a practitioner clinician style way um, if you want to live a good life so what would your good life look like what would your what would it look like for you so like I said mine is travel some of you guys are interested in horses some of you guys are interested in animals some of you are interested in other things and how can that be part of your work as well or how can you create a life that you can live and a business that you can live in rather than it be business 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 over here to finally live a life that I actually want to live and how could you create that um, some of the examples that uh, I have of this is one me <laughs> I, uh, I run all of my things online so that I can travel with what I do um, yes I've got commitments uh, you know even while we're here uh, the kids know that I've got three um, very specific commitments that I have to make every week. So I've got one here in the hub, one in the club, and one uh, with our mastermind uh, peeps. And then that's it for what, for what I'm doing. But I live this life. It's not like one goes out and the other one doesn't. Um, other 
things I've seen running um, your courses online. So having a passive income stream this week, uh, you know, we've had another 15 people sign up for the Natrepreneur experience where we're going to teach you the ins and outs of creating a business and a life that you love that's in alignment with you rather than work, 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 working or trying to get the next particular client and not actually still living your life in the meantime. So um, yeah, another 15 people. Oh, and by the way, if you are seeing this right now, you've only got three more days before early bird finishes. So I highly suggest you go and get those tickets. Otherwise you're gonna pay another nearly $300. So um, yeah, uh, other passive income streams. How can you package up the knowledge that you have in your brain, the knowledge that you have and you're sitting on so it can help somebody else while you're not there? Uh, we've got a great e-course, um, uh, e-course workshop specifically uh, at the Entrepreneur Experience as well uh, in February. Uh, so how can you create an e-course? Uh, again, I sold an e-course while I was here as well. Um, and it's not like I was doing, I'm, I'm here on holidays at Puzzle World today. <laughs> I rode 25 kilometers yesterday on a mountain bike uh, with our whole family. Everybody did. It was beautiful and wonderful challenging <laughs> and, and really cool at the same time how can you do that how could you possibly create a membership um, you know everybody talks about wanting to be healthy and well but they also need accountability so creating a membership platform where you get paid every week or every month and you create um, opportunities for people to connect with you or your message or the information that you have specifically about the things you love to talk about you could create a membership model I mean, we've got membership models for veterinarians now. You know, I can uh, be a member of my local um, vets for my, my dog. Uh, you can be a member of a gym. Of course, people can be a member of um, your particular brand of natural health and natural health information, uh, depending on what your peeps want. Um, other ways that you could create a, diff a different business model are things like a mobile clinic. Um, many of you guys have uh, thought about going mobile or you might want to travel Australia with your family. How could you do that? How can you create a business model that supports that? Hey Anita. Um, so we're talking about different types of business models that are available that aren't necessarily the old school way of doing it. Now the old school way of doing it is, is fantastic and really beneficial for certain times in your career. But we don't have to do it like that anymore. And so, um, again, my invitation to you is to see what your ideal life looks like, your ideal week, your ideal month. And through checking in on that rather than where do I get the next client from, when you check in on what your, what your schedule actually would ideally look like, what it would be filled with, then see how you can help people and create a business model that will actually support your life rather than the other way around. <laughs> yeah, Katie, it was such a relief to realize that it doesn't have to be one way or another, right? Um, and it's such a, an amazing thing to realize that um, healing uh, comes in all sorts of forms and business comes in all sorts of forms. And um, as practitioners, one of the biggest things that we have is our capacity to have a conversation. And sometimes, you know, that was one of my biggest lessons is that it's not just all about the supplements. It's not just all about the herbs. It's not just all about the remedies. Um, some of the biggest transformational healing can come from having a conversation. And interestingly enough, we can now have conversations online. Um, we can have them over the phone. We can have them through... Um, uh, the medium of mobile clinics we can have them through um, uh, there's rural clinics a lot of you guys have been doing some really groundbreaking stuff in rural or overseas um, health checks and going back there every three months and doing community health checks over and over again and then being able to supply information online uh, again, some of the most transformational stuff comes from knowledge. And we know that there are so many people out there that don't have the knowledge that we have. And sharing it through uh, either online, offline, uh, through radio, through there's there's all sorts of mediums that you can do this through. Uh, through emails, autoresponder sequences. There's so many different ways of getting the message out there of health and well-being. Uh, so my invitation today after all of that is one have, take a moment uh, over the next week to really sit down 
with a nice clean sheet of paper and really connect in with what your ideal life looks like. What do you truly value? If you truly value spending time with your family, what does that valuable time look like? Right now, I, I could show you the background here. I've got my um, my 20 year old just sitting here flicking through her magazines. My, young, my youngest is over there uh, kind of begging my attention to go into the pool. <laughs> um, and uh, we, yeah, we just did a bike ride. So it has, looks like quality time away and travel because my particular values are around that. What are your particular values around? Do you want to do knitting? Do you want to do craft? Do you want to do horse riding? Do you want to spend more time at the beach? And how can you, um, how can you really get a, a, a visual, a, a vision for what your ideal day, month, week looks like? Um, based on your values, based on your strengths. If you're an introvert, would you prefer to be internal? If you're an extrovert and you're not feeding that, how could you get online? How could you run an event? How could you do these things that then allow you to, you know, create the space for your ideal life? So take a moment to check in with your ideal life, what it looks like based on your values and your strengths. And then start scoping out different parts of your business. Now it's not a, a, a end, you know, sorry, it's not a this or that. It's an and. It's a it's a spectrum and it's a scope of what you haven't really explored yet. And it doesn't have to just be the clinician style work. Maybe a couple of days a week you might want to do um, make Skype consultations available. And maybe it's a Friday, so then you can go on long weekends with your family or something like that. Maybe you particularly like horse riding on a. I don't know, a Monday, and instead you could do an evening version or you might want to take the time to create an e-course. So the second part of it, so one is find out what your idea looks like. Two is scope out different business models and different ways to provide information, healing, transformation, how to be able to get your message out there so that your business can support your life and your life can be supporting your business and it's this, this kind of shape rather than one or the other we've got an and and a flow on effect <laughs> jackie you want to travel in your caravan around australia and you're nelly a gray nomad i love it that means you're full of wisdom i'm sure and all of that wisdom can't just go traveling with you but sharing it in a in a way or a means that um, is in alignment with you could be really cool and really not just beneficial for you, but it's a win-win for everybody, right? Love that. Um, I want to travel around in a helicopter rather than a caravan. I want to be a grey nomad in a helicopter. So I totally understand that. And so that that's part of my vision. My ideal next five years is um, things like paying off our mortgage so that we can travel around and not have to worry about those things. Setting up systems and processes and foundations in a business so that it does essentially run itself un until I turn the tap on for a launch or a product or or um, making people making sure people know what's out there and available for me to help them in a way that I can without me actually being there. Um, again, we've got uh, a launch uh, expert we've got a e-course expert we've got a money mindset expert we've got um, some extraordinary workshops specifically for living your ideal life and what what things look like to do things differently at the Natrepreneur experience so if you've been sitting on the fence uh, early bird tickets close this Sunday at midnight um, and currently we have a three-part payment series for the early bird tickets for the Natrepreneur experience. So you only have to pay $220 upfront at the moment. So uh, don't miss out on the tickets. I don't want anybody to, to you know, come to Monday and go, ah, I thought about it and then I've left it too late. Um, I would love to see you there because we've got so many hands-on cool stuff happening. Um, and you know, it's in, in alignment with the things I love. I love having fun. I love having totally different experiences. I love creating different experiences for people. And um, I love creating memorable moments. That's what all our events are about, all my family life is about. And um, that's exactly what it's gonna be like at the uh, Natrepreneur Experience. So just a little plug in there just to make sure that no one misses out. All right, so there's my uh, little insight this week. Take the time to think about your ideal life and your ideal business model to support that. 
and I will catch you guys. I will be back in Newcastle after the festival of New, <laughs> Newcastle, New York, New Zealand, and then Newcastle again next week. And I'll catch you there back in the office. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.